Today, we are going to learn subtraction of three digit numbers by regrouping tens to ones in this beautiful forest. Look at the colorful butterflies on the flowers. There are 751 of them. Hey, see, 416 butterflies flew away. Now, how many butterflies are still sitting on the flowers? Yes, we can get the answer by finding the difference between 751 and 416. So, let us group both these numbers into hundreds, tens and ones and then subtract them. Thus, there are seven hundreds, five tens and one one colourful butterflies and four hundreds, one ten and six ones that flew away. Let us represent each hundred with a green dot, each ten with a red dot and each one with a blue dot. So, the number 751 will be represented like this with dots. Now, let us cancel the dots equal to the digits in the subtrahend in each column starting with the dots in the ones column first, then the dots in the tens column and lastly the dots in the hundreds column. But look, there is only one blue dot in the ones column and we need to cancel six blue dots. We cannot subtract six from one. So, we regroup one red dot to ten blue dots as we already know that one red dot is equal to ten blue dots. So, now we represent 751 with dots like this. Now, let us cancel six blue dots, one red dot and four green dots. We are left with five blue dots, three red dots and three green dots. So, we get in all three hundreds, three tens and five ones, which is equal to 335. Thus, 335 butterflies are left on the flowers. Now, let us subtract the numbers 751 and 416 directly. Let us look at the process of subtraction of these numbers. Step 1. Write the numbers in the hundreds, tens and ones column. Step 2. Subtract the digits in the ones column. As 1 is smaller than 6, we regroup 5 tens as 4 tens and 10 ones. Now we have 10 plus 1 1, that is 11 ones. Therefore, 11 minus 6 is equal to 5 ones. Write 5 in the ones column. Step 3. Subtract the tens, that is, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Now, write 3 in the tens column. Step 4. Subtract the hundreds. That is, 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Write 3 in the hundreds column. Yippee! We get the answer as 335. 751 minus 416 is equal to 335. Look, the leaves are falling. There are 893 leaves on the ground, but only 456 leaves are yellow. How many green leaves have also fallen down? Here, we have to subtract 400. 
56 from 893 to find out the number of green leaves. Subtract the ones, that is 3 minus 6. As 3 is smaller than 6, we regroup the 9 tens as 8 tens plus 10 ones. Now we have 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 ones. Therefore, 13 minus 6 is equal to 7 ones. Now subtract the tens. That is, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Lastly, subtract the hundreds. That is, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Thus, 893 minus 456 is equal to 437. Hence, we conclude that 437 green leaves have also fallen down. Wow! It was fun learning in the forest with so many beautiful things. Let us come back tomorrow and learn how to subtract hundreds to tens by regrouping.